Hey everybody, what's going on? It's been a minute since I did a Facebook Live. Uh, I've been busy with a lot of things. Recent started a podcast beginning of May. So I've been uh, trying to put my messages and content on my podcast. So I just want to share something right quick. So I'm going back to work. Uh, it's always a busy time. You know, Army is always a busy time as human resource professional. So uh, like there I was. What's today? Today Tuesday. Yeah. So today Tuesday. So as a soldier, uh, he was told last week that hey, you know, he's gonna be a part of the best warrior competition. For those who don't know. It's a competition where it's supposed to be all elite soldiers within the organization and um, the installation of uh, uh, competing in a variety of events. It's a board, it's all type of shoot, move, and communicate, PT test, the whole nine. So, soldiers confident, soldiers more than capable of not only competing, but like winning the best warrior competition so you know soldier was all with it and he's rolling with it um but i got a call a few days ago um he's very detail oriented he likes to prepare he is a perfectionist very similar to me um but in his own way for sure so he went with it but he has his concerns Ask him what he want to do, how he want to handle it. Provided some input and recommendations on how I would handle it if I was in that situation. So, at my ASUs, that is our military dress uniform for ceremonies, events, things of that nature. So, I brought my uh, uniform to get clean at my normal place, Old Kim. Uh, that does all my cleaning, puts my ribbons back on for me all the good stuff. I brought that in Saturday, this past Saturday, it just passed because next Tuesday, not today, but next Tuesday, um, I am a part of a change of command. So we're getting a new battalion command, a new colonel at our organization. So I will be one of the soldiers that are participating in that change of command. And the uniform is dress uniform. I found out last Friday. so. Hey, last Saturday, brought my stuff to Kim, and I told Kim, hey, I need it by this Thursday, which is like two days from now. So, uh, like, all that's taken care of is with Kim. So, last night it was confirmed that uh, the soldier that had concerns, my soldier that had concerns, hey, you know, uh, we're going to make some phone calls, and you don't have to do it this time around. You know, he'll get it next time around. I've been at work since 7 o'clock in the morning and this uniform, not even PT, like this uniform, um, going around Fort Sam Houston, uh, assisting a new battalion commander with in process in the organization, showing them the in process in place, showing them all the civilians, making sure his appointment paperwork is good to go, make sure he's got his military gear, SCIF, all that good stuff. So nothing was ever said. I get back to my office about 9.30 or so to my boss. I'm like, hey, uh, like we just got back. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to give me a smoothie right quick. I ate breakfast, but I ate breakfast like 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. Anybody that know me, I eat like five times a day. Short meals, but I eat five times a day. So I need a little smoothie. Ain't nothing else to say. So I get back about 11 or so, and I'm about to get ready rolling with it with work and everything and I get hey, my boss tell me he's like hey look tag you it I was like what you mean he's like uh he's like you yeah. it I was like what you need so he said hey um since your uniform is ready you good to go home today I was like what it's like 11 o'clock I was like I, it was like 11 o'clock in the morning um I start uh football practice today coaching football getting ready for the fall season but I didn't need to get off that early. 
Uh, and I was like, my uniform, my uniform is at the cleaners. I was like, I brought my uniform at the cleaners Saturday, and my uniform won't be ready to get picked up until this Thursday. He's like, this Thursday? I was like, wow, what's wrong? I was like, I thought the change command was next Tuesday that's coming. He's like, yeah. And I was like, so what do I need the uniform for? He's like, oh, I was going to have you sponsor uh, a soldier for the best word competition. I'm like, oof. Now, me and Kim... Kim is people that do my uniform alterations and all that. You know, clean it, put the rings back on, all that. I'm like, man, you don't mess up my good relationship with Kim. So, call Kim, and Kim said, hey, like, we'll make it happen, but we won't be able to put your ribbons back on. Um, we can only clean it. You can pick it up by 5 o'clock today. I was like, okay, cool, no problem. 5 o'clock. That's cool. Got practice at six. Time I get out of practice about eight, eight thirty. I should get home about nine. And I'll put my dress uniform together. For about 30, 45 minutes of uninterrupted time. Me chilling with my music, eating and sipping whatever I sip. Hey, I'm good. My uniform be ready um, for tomorrow morning. It's short notice, but Kim gonna take care of me. Not the whole way, but Kim gonna take care of me. Long story short. I go home to get my uh, book and my ruler and my ruler so that way I can, you know, put my ribbons back on my uniform once I pick it up at 5 o'clock today. And guess what? I'm at home. I'm getting that book. I'm getting my ruler. I'm putting uh, this football equipment back in the back of uh, the vehicle and stuff. And I get a call. Guess what? I get that call from y'all. I get that call from Kim. Uh, it's Mr. Peter, his last name, Kim. Him and his wife are on the place. He's like, so I'm champagne. It's Mr. Peter Kim. I was like, hey, what's up with you, sir? Uh, he was like, your uniform ready? I was like, what? I was like, I was like, sir, I was just about to try and uh, stop at your location before I go back to work to try and see if I can pick up the uniform at 3 o'clock. But, and Lord, that's my prayer. It's cool. Uh, about 1 o'clock. I'll get my uniform. I'll get my dress uniform from Kim. No problem. All that good stuff. You know, I'll have time to uh, do my ribbons at work. I was like, I'll just lock myself in the office that nobody's in in 30, 45 minutes. That'll be good. No problem. Guess what, y'all? Here's the finale. There I was. I get to Kim. I pick up my uniform. And I see the uniform, regular how it is, with the little paper stuff all all over and stuff. I'm like, where's my um, where's my where's my ribbons? Lady turned around and give it to me. Guess what, y'all? My ribbons, my awards, and my decorations were already on my uniform. Panned on, uniform clean, uniform fresh out the grease. Got all my buttons and my ribbons and my award decorations on my uniform. Man, psh, the Lord will provide the lord will make a way somehow when you have doubts about something or when you have concerns you have frustrations about something hey lord said come as you are and the lord said tell me what you need tell me about your problems and tell it to me how you want to tell it to me everyone doesn't know how to politically pray and pray like the old deacons that pray for devotion but you know what when you talk to god you and you have conversations with God however you do that whether you do it while you're driving whether you do it in the closet whether you do it while you're using the bathroom while you're showering while you're eating on lunch break whatever it is you do and y'all better talk to God man y'all need something y'all need God to deliver and you better call and tell him what you want they had a little church song back in the day I think my mom used to sing that uh, call him up call him up and tell him what you want boy the Lord is able for real. So now I get to go back to work. I get to go back to work and work about two, three strong hours. Kick butt, take freaking names, and guess what? Get more accomplished in three hours than most of them get accomplished in a whole eight to ten hour work period. I'm going to change my clothes. I'm going to football practice tonight. Beat my kids. Chain, uh, had my little coach hat and all that stuff 
And guess what? For about two hours, we're going to get this fall camp rolling in San Antonio and McAllister Park on the northeast side of San Antonio, and we're going to work. Then I get to go home, eat, chill, USA, and look at my pretty uniform that's already clean, signed, sealed, and delivered. Got the fresh haircut, too, on Saturday. So I Thurman, old Joe Thurman, he on my page. He the one cut the hair and everything, and we all good. Lord is speaking to you, man, you better listen. You better listen. But I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Hope everybody enjoyed this testimony. Uh, hope everybody enjoyed this encouragement, whatever you want to call it. I just want to let everyone know, for those who don't know, for those who do know, those who may be in doubt, frustrating, whatever you feel, guess what, man? The Lord will make a way somehow. He's not going to come when you want it. But guess what? Even if you don't think it's on time, it is on time. Believe that. Y'all enjoy y'all Tuesday. Because I will.